The concrete that we've uh, just poured today, we just put 1.8 metres of uh, 2510 under this building behind me, uh, was to fill in a sinkhole. Who would have thought? We haven't, um, I've never seen a sinkhole, but uh, we fill it in, that'll be the end of it. And uh, it just, it's a timely reminder to myself and, and our clients of the importance of geotechnical reports. We, in the process of building any new home, we, we always get a geotechnical report. It's one of the first things that comes in to allow us to properly plan the dwelling. And what's happened here reminds me of the importance of that because if, if you look around the site, you can't tell that actually a metre below the natural ground level is the water table. The Coffs Creek is behind me, about 500 metres that way, which means where I stand, a metre below me is the water table. Now there's a sinkhole formed uh, on the site, but the home didn't move. And the reason it didn't move is because we got geotechnical information and we peered the building down to the water table. So the building sits on solid foundations. Now if I hadn't got geotechnical information, this building would, would have structural problems right now. But because we follow the processes robustly, no problem to the building, the filling of the sinkhole is really a cosmetic process. And as a result, the owner of the property has got confidence that the, regardless of what happens, the building's on a, on a sure foundation. So if, you, if you're working uh, with builders that are not getting geotechnical information, I, I just want to really caution you around that and encourage you to follow the right processes and get the right result every time.